Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick GSA content generator review for you and kind of give you an idea of what it is before you go in and purchase it as if there's not enough content generating tools on the market. Um, but of course, many of you already know the name GSA and they do have a pretty good reputation, especially in the SEO industry backlink building. And so this new tool they just came out with is, in my opinion, excellent if you're doing second or third tier uh, type projects. As for first tier projects, um, I've been kind of iffy with using the tool. And so what I want to do is just kind of show you what it does and how it works. And this is a project that I had done yesterday on roof repair. And what it does after you go through all the settings, which I'll get to here in a minute, you can see that it creates a, a huge list of articles that it collects based on that specific topic. And of course, all of it depends on the settings and how you set it up under here, which I'll go over with in a minute as well. And so uh, this here is just kind of a preview of what you get after it's finished. And you can see here, do it yourself, still roofing installation. I can double click on this and it's going to pop up and show me an example of what I have here. It'll automatically put in videos. It'll automatically put in images and links for me and create it. And if I refresh it, it's going to show it a little bit different each time. And there's a, that's supposed to be a YouTube video right there. Um, but that's what it looks like. And uh, it's got, this just kind of shows you the setting that I chose for the algorithm. For size, if I hover over it, it'll tell you what each of the letters and the numbers are referring to here and the date when it was created. And I can export everything here or, or preview them. Then I can also see the images that it uh, collected from the sources online. And I can just double click on those and it'll bring up the image which it's putting on my other monitor at the current moment. So we'll just skip that. And then we can also see the videos here. If we double click it, it'll show us the previews of the videos it collected and even authority links that it will link to from each article if you do those as well. And so let's go ahead and just kind of do like a, um, a new project here so I can show you how it works. First thing you want to do is click on new. And from here you can either do wizard or advanced and wizard just kind of guides you step by step through it. in a couple clicks you can uh, it'll go out and find everything you need or you can do advanced which is what I recommend so you can be more specific with what you need so what I'm going to do is I want to jump in the wizard and show you what it means and at the end of the wizard I'm going to switch over to advanced and show you the additional options that are available so on wizard okay um, choose your language and then topic for keywords and for this example, let's just go with uh, something like, we'll just do keyboards. And then I can click here on find related keywords and it's going to go out and, and from many, many different sources, give me a lot of additional keywords related to keyboards. Um, but what I found is that many of these uh, keywords are, well, let me go ahead and do it and I'll show you because a lot of them are kind of, uh, they, they're not quite related to what I want it to be. So we'll let it run here for a second and see what we get. I know for roof repair, I got a lot of keywords that I didn't want. Okay, so keyboards, computer, mouse, computer. Um, okay, so some of these are pretty good here. So a lot of these really don't make a whole lot of sense, but just for this example, like uh, pianos, uh, you know, that has nothing to do with it. But okay, um, we're gonna keep it like that, click next. Article style, this is where we're going to choose how well we want the content. We can choose poor, uh, to be super unique, good, very good, or perfect, and I'm just going to choose good. And then we can choose to have images added, videos added, uh, authority links, or with uh, spin tax, or syntax, and you can configure it here with several different uh, options and so what I want to do is go in here you can select use internal spinner or you can click add and choose one that you already have access to with an API and you can enter it here and it'll automatically use that as well so I'm just going to use the internal spinner and let's go ahead and click next okay from here that's all you need to do with the wizard and then it'll automatically go out and get everything but if you want to be more specific what we can do is click on open advanced settings click finish and we're going to give our project a name and I'll just go with keyboards click OK and let me make this a little bit bigger 
And you can see here in the main window back here that it added the project here for keyboards. Zero articles currently because we haven't ran it. And here we can see all the keywords that it collected for us. And we can change those there if we want to add them or whatever. And down here, what I like to do is I like to tick this box that says keyword must be in title. So that way, whenever it finds an article, it's going to be more specific and it's just not going to pull some random article that has the word keyboard listed in it um, that may not be related to anything that I'm really looking for. So I always make sure that this one is checked. And then this one here, you can check if you want keyboard must be in URL or keywords must be in URL. Um, use additional keywords for checking. We can add more keywords into here for scraping. We can um, set the different sources that it uses for keywords here. You can see here everywhere where it goes to uh, collect these from Bing to eBay, Alibaba, and all these other sites. And then down here, we can choose to enter our backlink, which we want added in the article. So let's just go ahead and do google.com. And then you can add your anchors over here. If you don't want to add your anchors, it'll automatically use the keywords that you have selected up here. And then down here, if you pick um, same line, um, what it's going to do is it's going to match up the backlink URL here with this anchor. And it's going to use those two together. And then same if you have a second row and a third row. If not, it's just going to kind of mix the, the uh, backlinks with the anchors. And then from here, we can go to save and scrape. But I'm going to go ahead and go up here to sources and output and show you these different options here. So sources, this is where it's going to get all of its information from. All the content, all the images, all the videos. And over here is the name column. And this is obviously going to be the name of the site where it's collecting the data from. And then the second column here, this is uh, going to tell you the type of it. You can see here this is like a little notepad referring to this site is where you're going to get content from. And if we scroll on down here, you're going to see uh, these sites are where it's going to get images from. And then these two are for videos. And then these three are where it is going to collect uh, authority links to add and insert into your article. And then we can see here uh, the quality that it has, the category, news, generic, business, uh, description. So if you're just looking for specific ones to get information from, you can sort it. And you can get down here and find the ones for, you know, blog networks or whatever it may be. And something else, too, is you can go up here to custom. And this is really neat. You can add your own source in here to scrape. So you can click add and you can enter any URL. Um, you can enter content from folders or files. And it will actually go out and add that as one of the sources that it goes to to collect this information from. Okay, so once you're um, in here and you have this set up, I, I normally just leave everything checked. And if sometimes it can take a long time to run, and if it's taking a lot longer than what I need it to, I can just uh, skip certain sections of it here at the end, which I'll show you. And it allows you to just uh, keep going while skipping so you don't have to wait the whole time. So after sources, go up here to output. And this is how you're going to set up the way you want your articles to look and and to be once they're done. So this here, the content generator, is, is how it's going to create the article. And you can choose from these options to create a new sentence in the articles. Um, you can mix sentences from all the articles, and it'll make um, one article from it. Uh, mix sentences from the same article. You can mix paragraphs from all articles. Mix paragraphs from the same articles and same paragraph order. And uh, grammar physics, you know, I've, I've never even used this yet, so I'm, I honestly can't tell you what that's for yet. So uh, if any of you figure out what that is, you can just put it in the comments down here. Uh, down here, you can put the number of articles. You can just leave it as max, and it will go out and find as just as many as it can find. Or you can put a limit on it if you just want something really quick, you know, put one or two. Paragraphs per article, words per article, the number of titles per article. So you can give uh, your title or your articles here a different amount of titles within the article. Kind of make it more unique if you want. And you can go in here and you can set that to configure to use the different keywords to scrape for additional titles. Here you can tell it how many images you want inserted. And this is really neat because you can really go into detail here and, and kind of make things really um make the content unique because with the images you can add the first image as a WordPress post thumbnail and you can give it a size and you can also click on configure here 
and you can choose for your images if you want the first uh, if you want them to show up as the first paragraph on the left first paragraph on the center the right and all the way down to the last paragraph so you can have the images uh, be placed in different areas on the articles and here we can see where we can insert videos and it works the same way with that too the format um, I just leave the iframe check there and we can check this box to use image or video or not both and I like to have both of them in there insert URLs or anchors uh, we can leave this how many ever URLs we want inserted in there and with a percent of no follow links and we click configure here and it'll allow it it'll ask us you know where we want these inserted at on the article insert authority links and always use same URL we can um, check that or uncheck it we don't want duplicates try to link within text flow uh, make it look more natural and then here you got where you can set your percentages for generic anchors URL anchors or domain anchors. Um, the spin tax here, here's the option for that, uh, which we had earlier where we can go in here, we can configure it and add our uh, API code. Use character spinning and insert HTML variations. I'm just going to leave those unchecked. Let me go up here to filter and modify. And up here, once we're done with everything, we can search and replace words within scrape content uh, to make it fit exactly what we want if you go that far with your articles and depending on what you're using them for. So once we have all that done, I want to go ahead and save it. Now before I run this, what I want to do is go up here and show you a few of these things up here. Under tools, um, these are just some basic things here. We can search for articles by keyword, search sources by keyword, you can add a new language, um, spin database editor where you can add your own terms and, and make changes to it. The settings here allow you to choose how many threads you want to use. I just kind of left it um, here is five and wait between queries is 120 seconds. You can change this to whatever you feel is right uh, depending on well mostly with your proxies the proxies you use and how many you have. Um, I do use proxies here and within the proxies it lets you add them. If I can grab a hold of the bottom here and you can see it better and okay so here's all the proxies I have and I can add proxies here. I can test them. I can delete them. Um, or I can add and edit proxy sites. So if you want to, uh, you know, scrape proxies, you can do that too. I normally don't use public proxies because they tend to have a uh, a less than desirable rate of of getting articles and for whatever you're using it for. But I've just never had very good luck with them. So I get all of mine from by proxies, and I got the links for um, the stuff that I mentioned in here underneath this video. So if you go down to the description, you'll find those links where you can visit these sites and kind of get an idea of the tools that I use and and uh, you know you might find something there of interest that you might use as well but okay let's go back here and okay under options you can automatically search for new proxies every so many minutes if you're wanting to use the public proxies um, if not just go back to list add your proxies here run a test on them and then uh, periodically go in here and check them after you run several projects and make sure uh, that they're still live if not remove them if not it's going to it's going to cause a lot of articles to not show properly once it goes through them. So we'll close that and close that. And what we'll do is go ahead and run this and I'll show you what it does. So we'll go here and scrape now. And you can see here it tells you the status or I can double click it and it's going to show me here what it's doing. And I'm not going to let it run through this whole thing because if I do, I could be here for a very long time because there's so many sources for it to run through. And there was a lot of keywords there too. And what it's going to do is it's going to go through each keyword and it's going to go through each source to find these articles. And so you could end up letting this thing run for hours and have literally thousands of articles. And so, you know, if, if you're making second tier, third tier type articles for uh, link building, this is just perfect for I mean you have an unlimited supply of content to use but for like a money site I'm I, I wouldn't use it personally for a money site um, for PBNs you know if I took a little more time to adjust the settings to get articles of better quality I, I would I might use them for PBNs as well uh, but definitely not for my money sites okay and so what I'm gonna do um, we'll go ahead and skip it here and now what these do it if I click abort it's, it's going to cancel the whole project as if it never started so you don't want to click abort unless you just want to cancel it 
Now if you click skip, it's going to jump through scraping the articles and it's going to move on to the next steps. It's going to move on to uh, collecting the images and then the YouTube videos and the outbound authority links and then it's going to put it all together. So this is what you want to use if you just don't want to wait any longer for it to finish. So we'll click skip and you can see here that it's it's kind of speeding things up here as it's as it's jumping over it. So we'll give it a minute. And just about. Okay, now it's removing duplicate content, filtering, generating the articles, entering the spin tax here, now it's scraping for images. And now it can it's going to find a ton of images as well from all these sources. It's also finding uh, the videos and the links while it's doing all this. And we're not going to wait here for all this to finish, so let me go ahead and just click skip on this one. Okay, so it's closed this, it's finished, and then let's go back to articles and see what it created for us. Okay, so here we can see all the articles. Um, looks like everything's pretty much got the word keyboard in it. So we have um, so far 100, well, it, it made 156 articles for us in that little bit of time. It's going to show us the algorithm that we used. Um, the uniqueness of it and then if we hover over here we can see how many paragraphs sentences word sources and a keyword density in each article and we can let's see here let's go to let's click on this and we got here we can see 27 yeah, is, oh, yeah. yeah I don't normally do turn this down there must be a video on this page so we got an image there there's our, our link that goes out to Google with our uh, anchor text. And here we have a video inserted automatically, keyboard and mouse, so it's related. And so, you know, this is a full article we have here ready to go to paste and just use to, to just blast out there for whatever tool you're going to be using. And we have 156 of these things, so I'm definitely not short of using any kind of articles. So we can go here to images and we can see the images that it got. And if I double click on one of these and bring it over here you can see this is the the keyboard and it goes all the way down through there and then as well as videos it collected a bunch of videos for us and you can expand these columns to see those so that's pretty much um, what the GSA content generator is in my opinion like I said I think it's a great tool to be using for second and third tier links uh, for backlink building um, but for a money site I'm, uh, I would be leery about using it um, I am one of these kind of guys that, you know, if I'm building a money site, I want the thing to last. I, you know, I want to be able to benefit from it for a long time and anything that's going to kind of hurt it or, or, uh, or may possibly reduce its rankings, then I'm just going to kind of steer away from that area. So for me, um, not for money sites, but I'll definitely be using it to create all my content sending out for my, uh, second and third tier link. So. Um, that's my GSA content generator review. Um, the links are under this video there where you can go check it out. You can download a free trial of it actually. Uh, it's like a seven day free trial. That's what I'm using right now. I downloaded it yesterday. I thought I'd check it out and just see how it worked. And so far I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, I know there's a lot of other tools out there you can use. So I guess it just depends on, you know, if you want to invest the money in it or not. But the links are under this video. You can get down there and check them out along with the links to all the other tools that I use. Uh, which you guys may find useful as well. So uh, leave me a comment if you guys find, found this helpful. And uh, I wish you guys the best with your SEO and backlink building ventures.